Are nylons still in? I wear them, I wear hose. They're not in, they're not cool, but it's really cold here. When I was coming up, we used to have to wear girdles. They're with called the Sphinx now. Yeah, with the little snap. They had the uh -huh. little snap to hold the stockings yeah. up. Yeah, sexy, sexy. I'm tell it sounds like a real pain. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Okay, so if you don't remember her, we have Erlene Belcher here. She is Queen Cookie, also known as, right? That's yes. your stage yes. name. Okay, so we first met you because you changed your life through your diet and exercise. Right. You were given a diagnosis. Give them a little thumbnail of what happened to you a few years ago the doctor said you got to take these pills yeah well diabetes. actually actually four years ago this month mm -hmm. I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes mm -hmm. uh, it was a diagnosis that I didn't want to hear I said I did not deserve this disease mm -hmm. although a lot of my family members had it and uh, my doctor gave me pills he gave me a monitor um, I had a pity party for three days mm -hmm. I took the monitor what's that look like Oh, it was awful. You don't want to see it. <laughs> but I took the monitor and I threw the monitor up mm -hmm. against the wall and broke it. Whoa. Oh, because I didn't want diabetes. I didn't right. want that. But after three days of having a pity party, I said, Queen, you can do this. Because my mother had passed away two years prior from complications of Ooh, diabetes. That's a wake-up call. A uh, dialysis machine mm -hmm. three days a week. I couldn't see myself doing that. So I made up in my mind and I made a concerted effort to do a lifestyle change. And you did a major lifestyle, lifestyle change. In doing so, I lost 55 pounds. Mm -hmm. Now you on that medicine still? No, I took the medicine three days mm -hmm. and it made me feel funny. It gave me diarrhea. I think they and I, I said, I couldn't go through life with that. No, no, so, no, that's not fun. I said, I know I can do this because I'm a pretty dedicated, when I set my mind to something, I'm You're going to do it. it. Oh, most of that. You're mentally tough. That's what we call yes. it. You are mentally tough. That's yes. the whole ball game, people. Yes. Persistence and mental toughness. Yes. It is. Yes. That's yes. it. Yes. yes. Right? And fabulous green dresses also help. Oh, well, thank you. you I just gorgeous. wanted to bring out some spring. I'm you so look tired beautiful. of winter and snow. <laughs> so thank am I. you. So am I. Okay, so. That's the first part of your journey. We, we get healthy, we, we change the way we eat, you exercise all the time. I always see yes. on Facebook, going to the gym, yes, doing that stuff. Yes. Um, but then it un, you blossomed beyond that. You didn't stop with the health. Uh, can I ask your general age? I don't remember if you're someone who's sensitive about age or not. No, I'm, I'm proud of my age. I am 64 years old. Okay, I am proud As of my I age As I call too. it, 64 years young. Exactly, and I am 45. <laughs> Well, you go, years. Girl. I'm just saying I don't lie about it. I'm oh, like, no, I'm this is, is what it is. Don't tell me 39 and a half or whatever. You can't erase it, uh, so you <laughs> might as well embrace it. Uh, exactly. <laughs> that is the way I look at yes, it, too. Yes. So, um, but a lot of times people think, oh, I'm this age, and I'm nothing new or exciting is going to happen for mm -hmm. me. This is the rut that I'm in. Mm -hmm. You went, changed your life, lost 55 pounds, and then you did something totally ridiculous and fantastic. <laughs> you became what? A stand-up comedian. And you were a, a wife and a mama, and you yes, turned... I was retired. Mm -hmm. I was just enjoying retirement. And uh, seen in the paper one day where our local comedy club, The Funny Bone, mm -hmm. was having an open mic. So my family thinks I'm funny, but right. it's a different funny when your family right, think you're right, funny and right. your friends than strangers. Exactly. So I said, let me go out here and try this. I got on stage and worked my magic and was well-received. And I'll be doggone been doing it ever since. Doing it ever since. And she was so fantastic that none other than Monique, did she win the Oscar? Yes. Okay. So for her movie picture. Precious. Uh, for the movie Precious. Mm -hmm. um, take a look here. Monique said to you, walked up to you and said to you after you watched her one time, she, she, she sensed something in you. What'd she tell you? She was on stage and... Um, she said she couldn't keep her eyes off of me, that she had a connection with me, not knowing who I was. She didn't know you did comedy. You didn't, no. She didn't know the mental toughness that was in no, there. No, no, no. She just felt something, a pull to you. Yes, and maybe I was connecting with her because when she started talking about her weight loss, mm -hmm. it connected with me, and our spirits connected. It was that universal spiritual connection that happened. It's amazing, yes, that, it that, is. but it's the truth. Yes, it is. And so she's, this, this part of the story is ridiculous. This is the part where it is jaw dropping. So when, then what did she ask you to do? After you, you guys are connected, yes. she gets you, you get her, yes. she says what? Well, she came off okay. the stage and she gave me one of them big mama oh, hugs. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Gotcha. Ooh, I love them. And, and she, she whispered says, in my ear and uh -huh. she said, I had a connection with you when mm -hmm. I was on the stage. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, 
I went behind a uh, stage to the green room and we took pictures and I was telling her my story of my lifestyle change and how she had connected with me on stage yeah. because she's lost a significant amount of weight yes. also. And so I told her about my 55 pound weight loss and how I did an open mic at the same funny bone she was performing at. And she looked at me and she says, can you open up for me tomorrow night? No kidding. Woman down, drop the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Woman down. I think that would, uh, forget it. So you yes, did. You did yes. it. Yes, I went home that evening. I left the funny bone. I could not sleep your all jar night. Up, oh my God, I couldn't sleep. I was nervous to perform in front of an Oscar award winning actress. Who wouldn't be? But you seized it. I seized the moment. You seized the moment. And now you guys are buddies and... Yeah, we talk from time to time and... Um, I love her. She's such an inspiration to me, but she tells me I'm an inspiration to her. See, that's a the mutual, uh, it's a force multiplier. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so what we're going to do now, you brought a couple of recipes for us. So we've got just a minute or so in this segment. Um, let's start with well, the first one. What are we making today? We're going to make what I call an old school mm -hmm. menopausal twerk salad. Menopausal twerk salad. My grandma used to make that. <laughs> Okay, so let's start out. What do we what do we what do we start with? We'll we'll okay. start it out and then we'll go to commercial and then keep it going. Okay. So we start out with a nice fresh bowl of cut kale okay. greens. Let's look at that. Isn't nice that pretty? fresh bowl? It's beautiful. Just pretty. Just okay. cut that pretty. up, wash it, cut it up, mm -hmm. put it in your bowl. Okay. Okay. And then I take a few cranberries. I love cranberries on the salad. And I just sort of mm -hmm. sprinkle those in there like that. Mm-hmm. Those lovely little crystal mm -hmm. bowls mm -hmm. provided by Queen Cookie. Mm -hmm. those pretty. The show does not have crystal bowls. Mm -hmm. Isn't that pretty? That is pretty. You wouldn't believe what these are. Little candles go in there. Oh, adorable. And then you take some raisins and you just top it off with okay. raisins. A few of those. Oh, I like to take my cherry tomatoes because they're so pretty. They are. Add the pop of red there. Yes. Lur. Take a few of those. Okay. A few more. Then I take just a little bit of onion, mm -hmm. red onion. All oh, this is good for you. It's all good for you. Mm -hmm. It's going to fill you up too. It's mm -hmm. the, the veggies, pump up the veggies mm -hmm. when you're trying to change that diet of oh, yours. Don't you take away, just add. A few That's little olives. I love olives. Mm -hmm. Looks gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. And then I, these are sunflower seeds and also pumpkin seeds. Very good oh. for you. A little crunch. A sprinkle, mm -hmm. a little crunchy crunch. Okay. And I'm a girl that loves garlic. Look, cut up oh, fresh now garlic. Oh, Mr. Cookie is going, oh, jeez. Oh, he eats it too. <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. All we right. won't be able to tell each other from the other. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break as we finish putting the salad, oh, our twerks. Oh, cayenne pepper. Okay. That gives us some pop. Ooh! Mm -hmm. That's oh, the, a lot. These things are good for your blood pressure okay. also. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to add some salmon, and we're going to finish up our um, Queen Cookies Healthy Twerk Old Fashioned Pork Salad. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it. We never twerked on this show before.